Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rosie here, and I play Dead by Daylight so you don't have to. Um, today I want to go into who I believe is quickly becoming the most underrated killer in the game. You know, or, you know I think Plague is quickly becoming the most overrated killer in the game. Followed by, uh, Twins. Uh, I, I think there are people that still have the, 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 the dirt of the previous release in their mouth. And when they dropped and they were unplayable. Like, yes, guys. When they dropped, they were the worst characters in the game. I, I'm the, I'll be the first one to say it. I believe when the release Twins was the worst character in Asymmetrical 1 vs. 4 history. Yeah, I think it was that bad. Baby PTB Twins is the only <laughs> argument you have there. But like, so when they, when they dropped, they were bad. However, that ain't the case anymore, gentlemen. That's just, that's just, that ain't the case anymore. Um, Victor is fucking insane. And even if you can't do the patented slug, went off of one play, they have mathematically un... Like, there's nobody in the game that equals their map pressure. Once you have, like, two people injured, and you don't know where anyone is, and you're just patrolling with the two. When... Late game? Ugh, bruh. The <laughs> scary shit right there, dude. Quit... Like, I, I, they're mathematically unequal in terms of the map pressure that they can dish out. Um, quickly becoming super underrated. I, 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 I'm being... I'm not here to pick to like mess with the people who's like, oh, they're A tier, they're just not as good as you think they are. Because I, I think I have a super high opinion of them in this community. But, but like, if you're A tier, fine. If you, if, you, if you throw them in A tier, fine. Got no beef with you. I'm talking about them people that think she's B tier and below. Uh, I don't think we're playing the same character. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you guys just haven't played her in a while because of uh, how bad pre-release was like someone on JL's podcast like oh I haven't played twins in a while but I don't think they're very good oh then play them dude holy fucking shit they're a completely new character now they're so smooth they're much more smoothened out and, and another reason I'm, I'm starting to think to become their under they're uh becoming underrated is that the arguments that I've been getting for why they're not super broken have been starting to get worse and worse and worse I, I mean I believe I saw, I believe Otz was like, oh, well, the, 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 the lucky break, bro. Lucky break counters, though, Victor. Well, yeah, lucky break counters everybody, Otz. Like, I don't use lucky break as a standard for anything because lucky break is broken. I'm t and then, like, a comment, I was like, well, what if you make a wrong turn as Victor, dude? Like, that's, that's, that's literally a comment I got on Jay's podcast from some sort of money about why the twins aren't actually good. What if you make a wrong turn as Victor? Yeah, because I'm, I, I'm so ready to send out Victor and just make wrong turns and not know what I'm doing. Like, the, the guy was like, the guy was like, I've never lost the Twins and then proceeded to give me a make wrong turn with Victor argument. First of all, buddy, if you make a wrong turn with Victor, that's like not even as bad because you cover such insane ground that it's, it's, it's better to make a wrong turn as Victor than anybody else on the roster because you can make up that distance like really fast. And, I, and th their power just still don't, don't have, doesn't have any counterplay. I remember like, when we were all memeing, it was like, oh, they, they can't get around barrels and stuff, bro. Yeah, the, day one. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get, I couldn't hit somebody a barrel day one, dude. It's not impossible to hit somebody running in a circle around something anymore. I mean, it kind of was. It kind of was, dude. And then we all just got good. And then it, it, it's over now. We can, we can hit them at the spots. They're just, they're just a lot, a lot better now. Um. Uh, the hijacking is still kind of bad. This is why I only use the latch when I'm winning. I don't, like, start the game with latches. I don't know if that's... Unless I know I'm going to get the down. But but these two are, are, are quickly becoming underrated. Everyone's talking about Blight. Understandably so, talking about Blight. But because of how insane he's quickly starting to become. But we're sleeping on these two, bro. The, the entire community is quickly sleeping on Twins, and they're quick to write them off because Atharva made a tier list. Uh, don't, th these two are, are at least A tier, at least unequivocally A tier. I think they are really, really good. Uh, uh, but like, what do you guys think? I want to know what people actually think about them. I want someone to like, try to get me off my high horse here. Give me a good, solid argument about why these two are B tier, because I have yet to see it. I have yet to see it. Even again, even in a game where you can't slug and win everybody, I think they have the potential to trap the game for twenty plus minutes if you if they if you are gonna try to uh, resist them. I think if you try to resist their game, they can keep you in the match for a super long time because of their unequivocal map pressure. It's it, they're insane, bro. They're insane.
and I just, I don't get where the discussion is. I, I know that their chapter was horrible. Their chapter was the worst chapter in the game's history. But, like, that's just, that's, that's not them anymore, dude. There, there's something completely different now. So there's something completely different. Uh, toy Sword, Victor Movement Speed add-ons is all you need, bruh. Yeah, their other add-ons are fucking terrible. But, but, like, <laughs> and, yeah, they could buff them by giving them better add-ons than the other 17 slots. But... You know, you work with what you got, and uh, what they have is probably again. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying this because I haven't f figured out anybody to disprove it yet. If they don't have the best chase power in the game, it's top three. It's top three. Victor is stupid, bruh. Stupid, just absolutely stupid. Uh, and just what they're trying to do is so much perk synergy. That's another thing in their favor, keeping. Constantly having to heal means you'll get ruin value, sloppy, undying, corrupt. There's the best build for him right there, boys. Just just what they're trying to do has so much synergy with that perk combination. It's just unbelievable. I, I, I don't know, bro. Someone someone give me something that I can work with to, to disprove myself because I can't think of anything. Like, I don't know, bro. What do you guys think? Let me know. I love I love these two. What do you, please get me off my high horse here?